when I did the underbody, I sprayed the whole car with some uh, rubberized uh, gravel guard. And I seen the can in the, in the closet, so I, I figured, I might as well just use it. I have it sitting around. So, what I did was... So what I did is, I decided that I'm going to undercoat this section of the, the car all the way down to the end. Right here, this area here, up in this corner right here, and under here, under the wheel well, just right, right along here. And also the back here. So I'm going to use that rubber guard, I'm going to spray it. And we'll see how it turns out. It's a it's a paintable rubber card, so it will be the same color as the car once I paint the car. But for now, it's going to be black. I'm also going to spray paint the uh, door entrance here. So that's going to be all rubberized coated also. This is the stuff I'm going to be using. I used it under the car, it worked out pretty good, so I'm just going to continue using it. I got about a quarter of the can left, so might as well use it. Also, the gun that I'm using is this, it's a siphon gun. Like I said, I used it, I used it all under the car. Here it is, this is what it looks like. There's a steel, I mean there's a canister here. A can that holds all the liquid. Spray it and go. I guess you look at the size of a hole in that thing. It's about a quarter inch. So, that's that. This is this is just some wax and grease remover. Remover. I guess you're just. Completely clean. No grease residue anywhere. Just leave it, but I don't like the way it looks, so I'm just gonna wipe it off and recoat it. Yeah, this this stuff comes out f hard and fast, so you have to be quick. Let's see what it looks like. Overall, it came out pretty good. Uh, except for my little... Masking job wasn't very good. Okay. 
Marcus right there. Close the door. So all that will be painted is painted the same color as the uh, car, so it just won't even know it's there. That's it.